Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to go over how I make videos with DaVinci Resolve, but you need something called Shutter Encoder and you use the codec DNxHD. So here I'm showing you how you go ahead and select DNxHD when you transfer your video from the iPhone. And just for the sake of this video, I'll show you how I go ahead and start the conversion process. But yeah, that converts the video, the MOV or movie file that you need in order to put it into DaVinci Resolve. So I just want to go over that really quick, but this is DaVinci Resolve. And you can see at the bottom you have media cut tabs. So media is wherever you drag your videos or audio clips into. And then you have the edit tab where I work most of the time, color. Fairlight and deliver is finally when you've done the video you deliver the video uh, Ready to render it in the YouTube site So let's take a look at the edit tab and basically whenever I've done the video What I do is I go ahead and expand the timeline so that I can see the audio clips really well and For example here you can see where the waveforms are but I use the blade tool to go ahead and go over the areas that are not showing any audio. I clip that and then I clip the end where there is uh, where the audio ends, the silence ends. And I click it and hit backspace. And then I click it again and hit backspace and it joins the two clips together. So that way it's a seamless and nice video transition. So you go ahead and do that with the rest of the video in order to get the video edited. Then what else you can do is you can also go ahead and move down. You can look at the waveform if you want to look at it better. What I do is I basically go ahead and move it like that and you can drag like that. And see you can see the waveform better uh, for the audio and then you can edit it much easier. So this is a fusion tab and here you can get effects, you can put in compositions and this is a gray area where you want to put in custom compositions. Um, color is a whole good deal but here you can see how I'm enhancing the contrast on this and you can see how it made it pop out a little bit but you can do the uh, contrast shadows and everything over here then this is the fairlight tab and most of the stuff that i do in here is basically uh you know the audio levels you want them to be normalized so you don't want them to appear too loud uh, so you can set it at minus nine but one really good way to look at it is just play your audio clip and you see how the audio range is falling within the negative 10 to negative 5 region and it's showing in yellow, that's basically where you want it at. Um, and if you want to increase the audio while it's doing it in real time, you can just click it and drag it. See how I've increased it? And now the audio is falling within the red range, which is something you don't want. So as long as your audio falls within that sweet spot, negative 10, negative 5, that is basically where you want it. Uh, in order to get the best effect possible. So once, for example, when you're done with your entire video clip, all you do is you go to the YouTube option uh, and we want 1920 into 1080. And uh, once you've selected that and you've got all your options, put in the file name and everything, at the bottom you press add to render queue and when you've added that to the render queue, then you're ready to go ahead and render it. This will create a movie file that you can upload to YouTube. Uh, so that's about it. That's how I go about doing uh, video editing. And it's a free software. Uh, you can download it and there's nothing to it. So like this YouTube subscribe clip that I have, how I went ahead and acquired it is uh, there is a website and I think I've gone over it before, pixabay.com. 
uh, you go to it and uh, here on the right you can select from the drop down videos so you'll go ahead and select that and then in the search you can type in subscribe YouTube and when you go down you can see all kinds of different videos that show the subscribe animation and I got this one that I use in most of my videos so you can go ahead and select that and once you click it it'll show you a little preview you can play it and see what it looks like but then you can go ahead and use that I just click free download and usually I just use whatever is over there and it downloads it that way and I'll show you how I drag and drop these video clips in there just like you would with your iPhone video clips uh, you can just drag and drop it in there so here's a video clip I drag it into the media pool and now let me scroll uh, all the way to the end so let's sort of zoom out by doing that and I'm gonna go uh, towards the end the very end and wherever that scroll timeline is there we go we just add it right over there and see I can take that seek bar and go all the way to the end and I can play it and you can see that it's been added to the very end uh, where I'm asking to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and here's the transition at the very end the video animation that I wanted so that's a really simple way of doing it uh, let's go back to pixabay.com and I'll show you the other things that I use is for example when I want to look at transition effects or you know you have the opening intro to your YouTube uh, you want some kind of video or animation with text on it that welcomes you to your channel so see there are many different kinds of uh, video effects that you can incorporate uh, into your intro into YouTube channel uh, and these are all uh, you know they they have uh, options where you can drag and drop them in there but let me go back and show you which one I have and I, I think I did download that but that's my intro where I'm talking you can see the contrast that I changed that showed up but as it's going forward see where it says audio and video lighting equipment used with an iPhone see that video in the background that was the video that I basically downloaded from somewhere over here and then I'm using an overlay text on it for audio similarly you'll just do audio and what you can do is you can play any of the audios and it'll play it give you a little preview uh, of what it sounds like uh, so with this one for example I'm looking at which is about 11 seconds uh, it'll play it from start to finish but you can hit download and when it downloads it'll be right over there you'll similarly drag and drop it into your media pool and here it is once you scroll over there you can see it right there so you'll just drag and drop it in there and uh, you can hear the sound uh, at the very end so that's a good thing about Pixabay is it has a lot of stuff over there that can incorporate into your video uh, and no attribution uh, is required most of the time you can read whatever the licenses associated with it are uh, but that's basically how I've done it in my videos it's very straightforward and easy to use uh, once all you have your <coughs> video from your phone you just drag and drop it in there so if I want a text overlay over my video you can see here on the left where it says titles here the background reveal lower third so I'm just going to drag and drop this and you'll see where it says place on top I'm going to put it right over there and you can see if I go a little bit back that little beige color on the top over the video let me play it see where it says sample I'm going to stop it right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this title let me zoom in a little bit I'm going to select this title and see where it says sample let me rename that to uh, lav mic so it's really simple to go ahead and add your uh, titles in there uh, so when I play it back 
there we go it says lav mic on the bottom uh, but it's, it was really simple to add the titles so you'll go ahead and do that with your entire video you can change what you need what you don't and um, yeah this is an easy tool to use and when you're done with it you'll just do final render and it'll come out so yeah if you're starting out in youtube and you want to do youtube editing i would highly recommend that you go ahead and use davinci resolve uh, it is a little learning curve but there are a ton of videos out there and i just wanted to give you a top level uh overview of this thank you guys see you next time and if you like this video please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel